You're watching Top 10 World, and today we're going to tell you about unsolved mysteries that may take millions of years to solve. Stay tuned till the end of the video if you want to know more about it. 10. The Dyatlov Pass Incident A 62-year-old adventure mystery that has prompted conspiracy theories around Soviet military experiments. In what became known as the Dyatlov Pass Incident, 10 members of the Urals Polytechnic Institute in Yekertenburg, nine students and one sports instructor who fought in World War II, headed into the frigid wilderness on a skiing and mountaineering expedition on January 23, 1959. One student with joint pain turned back, but the rest, led by 23-year-old engineering student Igor Dyatlov, continued on. Nine members of a Soviet expedition were found dead on Kolat Sakil. Their bodies were scattered around the mountain slope. The deaths were blamed on an unknown natural force, and the Soviet bureaucracy kept the case quiet. The lack of detail about this shocking event gave rise to dozens of long-lived conspiracy theories. The expedition tent was found just barely sticking out of the snow, and it appeared cut open from the inside. All nine of the team members' bodies were scattered around the mountain slope, some in a baffling state of undress, some of their skulls and chests had been smashed open, others had eyes missing, and one lacked a tongue. What happened to them? Nobody knows. 9. Flannan Isles Lighthouse Lighthouse on Flannan Isles, Scotland was abandoned on Boxing Day, December 15, 1900. Ship crew noticed the light was off and the lighthouse had no sign of light. Lighthouse keeper Joseph Moore went to investigate and found a canary in a cage and a clock that had stopped. There was evidence that the island had been hit by a massive storm the day before and that the lighthouse keepers had ventured out in just his shirt sleeves. The find turned up nothing but a set of oil skins. Theories more suited to the Middle Ages were soon doing the rounds, such as the men being gobbled up by a giant sea serpent or whisked away by a huge sea bird. One theory had the men leave the island by boat to escape debts, while another had them spirited away by the skeletal crew of a ghost ship. Some people thought that the men had been kidnapped by foreign spies. 8. Dancing Plague In July 1518, residents of Strasbourg, France were struck by a sudden urge to dance. The dancing epidemic claimed as many as 400 victims. Local physicians blamed it on hot blood and suggested the afflicted simply gyrate the fever away. The strange episode didn't end until September when the dancers were whisked away to a mountaintop shrine. The Strasbourg Dancing Plague of 1518 is well documented in 16th century historical records. Similar manias took place in Switzerland, Germany, and Holland. A pretty crazy mystery that can never be solved. 7. Hinter Kaifeck The Hinter Kaifeck farmstead was the home of 35-year-old Victoria Gabriel and her two children in 1922. The family was known for keeping to themselves. Neighbors grew concerned when the entire family failed to show up to church. A search party led by a farmer led to the family's home after mail started piling up at the post office. The Hinterkaifeck murders remain one of Germany's eeriest and most famous crimes. The search party found four brutally battered bodies covered with hay. Dozens of people have been arrested as suspects in the crimes, though no one has been found guilty. 6. What happened to Bobby Dunbar? Four-year-old Bobby Dunbar went missing from his family's home in Louisiana in 1912. Authorities launched a statewide manhunt for the missing boy. The boy was actually the illegitimate child of his brother and the woman who worked for his family. The initial reunion between the boy and the Dunbars remains disputed to this day. The family eventually got Bobby back, but the identity of the missing child is still disputed. The story is told in the movie Bobby, which is about the Dunbar family. Lessie Dunbar said she had positively identified moles and scars on the boy's body that confirmed he was her son. The police allowed the Dunbars to take Bobby back to their home. A few days later, Julia Anderson herself showed up, backing up Lessie's claims. The courts were hesitant to bring the case back up, and the boy was left with Lessie and her husband Bruce after Anderson returned to her home in North Carolina. 5. The Lost Colony of Roanoke A group of 115 English settlers arrived on Roanoke Island off the coast of what is now North Carolina in August 1587. In August 1590, the governor of the colony sailed back to England to gather a fresh load of supplies. Three years later, he found no trace of his colony or its inhabitants. Investigations into the fate of the lost colony have continued over the centuries, but no one has come up with a satisfactory answer. 
In 2007, efforts began to collect and analyze DNA from local families to figure out if they're related to the settlers, local Native American tribes, or both. 4. The Nazca Lines There are more than 800 straight lines on the coastal plain, some of which are 30 miles 48 kilometers long. The Nazca Lines are perhaps best known for the representation of about 70 animals and plants. In 2011, a Japanese team discovered a new geoglyph that appears to represent a scene of decapitation. In 2018, Peruvian archaeologists announced they had discovered more than 50 new geoglyphs using drone technology to map the landmarks in unprecedented detail. In 2016, the same team found a depiction of a 98-foot-long mythical creature. What was it? How did the lines appear there? Nobody knows. 3. Romans in Brazil According to a famous underwater archaeologist, artifacts unearthed in a bay near Rio de Janeiro may mark the wreck of a Roman ship that could have reached Brazil 17 centuries before Portuguese explorers explored the region. According to archaeologist Robert Marks, a well-known sunken treasure hunter, a vast accumulation of amphoras, or tall jars, of the sort carried by Roman ships in the 2nd century BC, has been discovered in Guanabara Bay, 15 miles from Rio de Janeiro. Could it be possible that the Romans reached there before any European ever could? 2. The Pollock Sisters Two girls named Jacqueline and Joanna Pollock were hit by a car while walking to church in 1957. Their parents wanted nothing more than to have them back. A year later, their mother gave birth to twin girls, Jillian and Jennifer. The girls began to resemble their dead sisters, and their parents began to believe their prayers had been answered. At age five, the memories of their past lives faded away, and they no longer remembered their previous lives. The twins even had recurring nightmares about being run over by cars. They were able to correctly name the dolls and stuffed animals that belonged to them in their former lives. They also pointed out landmarks that they'd been familiar with when they returned to Hexham. What was happening? Nobody could tell. 1. A Vanished Family Saul Solomon, 35, a former Israeli commando, lived in Northridge, California with his 39-year-old wife, Elaine, and their 9-year-old son, Mitchell, and Elaine's daughter from a previous marriage, Michelle Hockman. Saul made his living running a business which involved the repair and refilling of fire extinguishers. On October 12, 1982, Saul told everyone he was going to a car auction with a business associate named Harvey Rader and left. The family's Mercedes was found at Rader's garage, and their passports, wallets, and photos were discovered scattered alongside the Antelope Valley Freeway. Ashley Paul claims to have helped bury the bodies of the Solomons. What happened there? Nobody knows. What are your thoughts on it? Let us know in the comment box below. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.